Hey, Beverly. It's Vivian. Your husband's ex-wife? You got a second? I just want to express my gratitude for your understanding. Especially regarding yesterday. What do you mean by that? What happened yesterday that I don't know? Oh, you don't know? Thomas dropped in at my house on his way home from work yesterday. Oh, that explains why he came home later than usual. He didn't tell me that he was with you, but it's okay. I'm cool with that. Really? Are you cool with everything between us? Yeah. I mean, Thomas is a good father. I'm glad that he spends his time visiting his daughter as much as possible. After your divorce, my daughter is affected the most. So it's good that they get to spend time together. You're a lovely wife. My ex-husband must be the happiest man in the world to have married you, huh? I guess there's no harm in calling him over to my place today because, you know, I need to take a shower every day. Hang on. I didn't quite get that. How does your shower relate to my husband? Oh, well, my arm hurts. So I needed someone to help me out with the shower. Of course, my daughter couldn't because she's only three. So I had no choice but to ask Thomas to help me out. What? Are you saying that my husband gave you a bath yesterday? <laughs> yes, and he did a really good job. Are you kidding me, Vivian? You two divorced, like, two years ago. Thomas is married now. How could you ask somebody's husband to bathe you? Why didn't you call somebody else? Because he used to be my husband. So, he'd be easier than calling someone who had never seen me naked. We used to take showers together when we were still married. It's not that big of a deal. Not that big a deal? That's literally unacceptable. I cannot believe that you asked my husband to help you shower. And he even agreed to your crazy offer? Come on, Beverly. You said you're cool with us. Why are you getting all angry all of a sudden? No, I never said that you and my husband could do that stuff together. What I said is that I was cool with my husband hanging out with his child at your house. Those two things are wildly different. Don't get it wrong, Vivian. Tell me, what else did you two do behind my back? Have you slept with him? Of course. How do you think we have a three-year-old daughter? Vivian, you know what I mean. I'm asking you one more time. Have you slept with my husband after you divorced from him? Oh, don't worry, we're just friends. I only meet him for my daughter's sake. And you think that asking my husband to help you shower was for your daughter's sake, right? Sort of. Thomas bathed her too. If I hadn't taken a shower, she might have gotten dirty or smelled from me. That would suck. But you still want to do that again today? Taking a shower with my husband one more time? Seriously? To be frank, I was hoping he could help me until my arm fully healed. Just so you know, I'm not happy with my arm situation, though. It's extremely inconvenient. Shame on you, Vivian. You have no idea how immoral you are. I'm not going to let my husband come to your house for a while until you stop trying to lure him in. Uh, try to lure him? Excuse you. Thomas was happy to help me out yesterday. He even said that it was the best shower he'd ever had. What? No way. You're lying to me. <laughs> Go ask him and let me tell you something. You're not the only person who can decide what my ex-husband should do with me and his daughter. If I want him to come, you can't stop it. You better stay out of my way, Beverly. Talk to you later. Hey, Thomas. Why did you do this to me? Huh? What are you talking about, Bay? Did you help Vivian shower yesterday? 
What? How could you know? Oh my god. You didn't even try to deny it. And you seem to be so proud of yourself for helping your ex-wife take a shower, huh? You even said it was the best shower you'd ever had. Why don't you just go and marry her again then? Honey, it's not what you think. I'll explain everything to you. But you need to calm down first, okay? Calm down? How do you expect me to stay calm after all the shitty th things you did with your ex-wife behind my back? You two are the most despicable human beings I've ever met. Listen, I was just helping her because she couldn't move her right arm. I swear, I only touched her back, that's all. I got out of the bathroom right away when I was done. But Vivian said you enjoyed it. I don't know why she told you that, but I didn't. I've never liked the idea of getting back together with her, babe. You're saying that now, but you still decided to touch her. You even tried to hide it from me. If Vivian hadn't told me, I bet I never would have found out what happened between you two. Honey, you have to trust me. If I wanted to get back with her, I would have done that two years ago, long before I met you. But I chose you. I only go over there for my daughter. My god, I don't know who I should believe now. The image of you and her taking a shower together keeps haunting me, Thomas. Please stop thinking about that for a while until I come home, okay? I'll explain everything again, and again, and again until you believe me. Honey, there was nothing between me and Vivian. We're so over. Now there's only me and you. And if we're lucky, of course we are. We will soon have our own baby, you know? Fine. I'll trust you this time. Thank you, babe. Thank you so much for always being an understanding wife. Okay. Don't make me regret trusting you, Thomas. If you betray me, I'll do some shit for real. That's never going to happen, I promise. I've had enough of you. I want a divorce. I'll complete the divorce papers when I'm back home from my business trip. What's wrong with you this time? Ever since the day I helped Vivian shower, you've been questioning me constantly and acting like an unreasonable wife. Now you even want a divorce? You're driving me crazy, Beverly. What should I do so that you'll stop being over suspicious like this? If I stop doubting, how could I have found out the dirty truth about you and Vivian? Here we go again. What the hell did I do wrong? I'm just trying to be a good father to my daughter. Whenever I drop by Vivian's house, I tell you. That Vivian even invited you to her house because you were paranoid, but you refused her. We're both trying to please you, but you're getting more and more skeptical. Screw you, Thomas. You don't need to pretend to be a good husband who always tries to fulfill his marriage. Because I know what you and your ex-wife are doing behind my back. There's nothing. How many times do I need to explain to you my relationship with Vivian? We're just friends. Wow. So bringing her home and hooking up with her in the living room is just friendly behavior, right? How long have you two been that close? What? How did you know that I brought Vivian to our house? Are you hiding somewhere in the house? I got cameras installed in the living room and our bedroom in secret. When I told you that I was going on a business trip for three days, but actually I'm living in a hotel three blocks away. Luckily, you took the bait. Now I have these videos of you two. Oh my god, you're crazy, Beverly. You tricked me. What are you going to do with those videos? Don't tell me that you'll sell them to some shady websites. Well, I was only thinking about the divorce with you. But honestly, that's kind of a good idea. No, you pervert! You cannot leak out those videos of your husband with another woman. Then you have to agree with my offer. What is that? Sign the divorce papers. I'm going to send you in two days and leave with nothing. What? Nothing? There's no way! If you don't accept the deal, 
I'll have no choice but to publicize your video. No, don't do that. Okay, I'll give you everything. But you two have to promise that you'll delete all the videos and never tell my dad about what happened. Okay? Okay. I know that your dad would kill you if he found out about your affair. He hates affairs, right? Yeah. He's scary. Okay. I think there's nothing to talk about now. We're over. By the way, you and your mistress will get out of my house immediately. I don't want to see you at my house when I get home in an hour. Are you out of your mind? You're kicking me out this late. Why can't you just wait until tomorrow? I can't take another second of you two cuddling in my bed. Get your ass out of my house now. Fine. I can't believe that I got married to such an insane control freak like you. Thanks to you, I now realize who's meant to be my spouse and why I should stay with Vivian rather than you. Whatever. But honey, this is not the end. I said that if you betrayed me, I would do some real shit. And I really meant it. Huh? What are you going to do? Tell me, Beverly. What's your plan? Hey, you freak! Answer me! Hey, Jen. It's been a few years, huh? How have you been? Oh? No, what? You haven't forgotten me, have you? Who's that? It's me, Vivian. I want my husband back like two years ago. You couldn't have forgotten me. Oh, it's you. How could I forget you? An immoral, shameless woman. But I'm still the winner, huh? No, oh, you're dumped so he could marry me again. What a pity your short marriage ended in divorce. Just cut the crap and tell me why you're contacting me out of the blue. If you're here to glorify what you did with Thomas behind my back, I'm out of here. Oh, come on. Don't you feel curious about what became of us after that? Not at all. Mm -hmm. It sounds to me that you're dying to know what happened. Okay, I'm willing to share a little bit with you. Well, everything has been so great since you got out of our lives. We're very happy, so you can put your mind at ease. I'm taking good care of your husband. Oops! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let me correct myself. Your ex-husband and my dear husband. <laughs> I don't give a crap, okay? You're just wasting your time bragging about all those shitty things with me. Oh, poor Beverly. You're saying that? But I know deep down you must be wondering a lot. Is Thomas happy with Vivian, or is he regretful now? Does he think Vivian is better than me? Listen, don't try to piss me off. I don't mind messing your life up right away. I guess two years is enough for you to enjoy your happy marriage, huh? Well, that won't scare me. To sum up, we've been married for eight years or so. There's nothing that can destroy our marriage. Just so you know, he loves me more than ever. Especially after our second wedding. He cares about me, buys me flowers, and drives me everywhere I want to go. He's at least twice better than when he was with you, Beverly. Good for you. Are you done now? Can you just leave me the heck alone? Why are you in such a hurry? It's been two years, and I've still got many things to tell you. Bye. I don't have time for this. Go find your dear husband. Hey, don't be so childish like that. I know you're feeling left out. That's why I'm here to tell you some good news about my husband's family. What is that? Well, Thomas's dad, Mr. Perry, is gonna remarry. Can you believe that? I mean, although he's rich and a gentleman, he's quite grumpy and meticulous to Thomas. He was one of the reasons why I divorced Thomas for the first time. Yeah, I already know that. Really? How could you know? 
Oh, forget it. I want to know if you got invited or not. I'm invited, but I'll still be there. What? <laughs> You're going to join your in-laws ceremony without invitation. Seriously? <laughs> oh, you're so pathetic, Beverly. <gasps> I can't believe that you feel missed out on so much that you want to join the wedding that desperately. Honey, you could just ask me or Thomas. You know that we would be happy to give you an invitation as our guest. After all, Mr. Perry used to be our father-in-law. I guess he would be okay if you wanted to join. I seriously don't need your help or invitation. I'm not joining the wedding as a guest. What do you mean? Oh, wait. I forgot that you're working as an event planner. You must be there as staff, right? Not really, but I don't have time to explain to you. I gotta get going. See you at Mr. Perry's wedding, Vivian. What in heaven's name are you doing, Beverly? You're attending the wedding as the bride? You are marrying my father-in-law. This is totally insane. What kind of person divorces the son to marry the father? What kind of person steals someone's husband? There's no rule saying that I cannot marry James. Besides, he's way better than his useless son. It's not hard to see that I want to marry a gentleman instead of a boy who cheated on his wife with his ex-wife. Is that your plan in the first place? Marrying his father to get back at us? I told Thomas before that our divorce wasn't the end. I really hope he loves this ending. Wasn't the divorce enough for you, Beverly? You loved him with nothing after the divorce. Can't you just leave the water under the bridge? I could but I promised to make him regret it for the rest of his life. So... Wow. You could really do anything to take your revenge. Beverly, you're such a shameless, dangerous woman. You're no one to judge me, cheater. I'm not a cheater, okay? Thomas and I are meant to be. It wasn't wrong that I wanted to get my man back. You should blame yourself for getting into our relationship. No matter what, you and Thomas are no more than cheaters. But James and I are different. You know what? At first, I planned that I would seduce my ex-husband's father to take revenge on his son, who broke my heart and ruined my marriage. It turned out that James did truly love me and adore me. He came on to me. He won my heart gradually. And then I realized I'd already fallen in love with him. The point is that now I'm married to the man I love, and you have to call me stepmother-in-law. Never. We won't ever accept you as a member of this family. Hey, Vivian. What is your position in this family? Let me remind you. You're a tiny daughter-in-law, but I'm the wife of the most powerful man in the family. So even if you don't want to, you still have to go tell your husband to get used to this. Have you said that he would do everything to stop this marriage? If you belittle me or bring up my history with Thomas to criticize me in front of all of the guests, you'll only be deepening the hole you already dug for yourselves. What do you mean by that? After the wedding, my husband will add my name to his will. That means your husband won't be the only person who will inherit James's assets. No, you're lying! My father-in-law can't add your name to his will. I mean, this is obviously your plan. He won't fall for that. Actually, he also wants to add our baby's name to his will. But we haven't found out the gender yet. So I told him to wait for a while. You're pregnant? I thought you couldn't have a baby or something. Why weren't you pregnant when you were married to Thomas? You think that I didn't want to? No. I was dying to have a baby, but Thomas said he wanted to focus on his daughter with you first. Well, I didn't know that he just wanted to sleep with you, but I find it so lucky because if I and Thomas had had a baby, how complicated would everything be now? Thank God. Hang on. It's a lot to process at once.
Yesterday you were just my husband's ex-wife, but today you've turned into his stepmother. Oh, how could this happen? It's not right. Shut up. Don't criticize my marriage again, or else I'll ask my husband to cross your husband's name out of the inheritance list. And I'm not kidding. What? You can't. If you're still doubting my abilities, I'm willing to show you now by kicking you out of my ceremony. This is my wedding, so I have enough power to do that. Fine. I won't talk about this. But just so you know, I won't let you get away with this. You can't take what belongs to my husband. Once again, neither you nor Thomas can decide that. It's my husband, James Perry, who rules the Perrys. Now cut the crap, hide away the scowl on your face, and smile at my guests before they think there are some problems with the wife or my stepson. I don't want my guests to feel bad or negative because of you. Do I make myself clear? Ugh. Okay. After the incident at my wedding, despite Vivian and Thomas refraining from causing a scene, they engaged in devious activities behind my back. They maliciously propagated the false narrative that I was a gold digger, managing to manipulate Mr. Perry into altering his will and removing Thomas from the beneficiaries. In reality, I had merely used the threat as leverage and had no intention of carrying it out. They even spread baseless rumors about the paternity of my unborn child, falsely claiming it was the result of an encounter with a stranger at a bar. The audacity of their attempts to fabricate such a story left me fuming. Rather than embark on a campaign to refute every allegation, I opted for silence. I persuaded my husband to discreetly rectify the will, excluding Thomas and other opportunistic relatives who sought to exploit the rumors for personal gain. The revelation of their loss of inheritance came too late for them to contest it, and my subsequent actions aimed to prove their misconceptions about me wrong. Assigned to a modest company by James, I transformed it into one of the top 10 firms in its field within a mere three years. This success silenced doubters and critics, solidifying my position as Mrs. Perry. As the years passed, my husband passed away after celebrating our 15th anniversary. In adherence to his will, the lion's share of his assets went to me and our son with a smaller portion designated for the daughter of Vivian and Thomas. The realization that they had been cut out of the inheritance came as a shock to the scheming duo. But the will remained unaltered. Unbeknownst to me, Thomas attempted to pilfer his daughter's inheritance. But I managed to intervene, assuming the role of trustee to safeguard her interests. In the end, Vivian and Thomas find themselves with nothing, leading to a tumultuous and strife-ridden existence.